game pays on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high. You ain't see me slack. No, it's not how you fall. It's how you get right back. What up? It's your boy Link Incredible, and this is Overlord Season 4, Episode 7. And there's not a lot to talk about, so let's dive into this episode and see what's popping off. Okay, so that's the guy that's in charge that we saw in the opening, right? Because he looks different from everybody else. So they don't know what the Death Knights are. Well, they're underground, so I can understand that. And they don't know anything about Ainz. I just, I just being careful too, though. So, you know what? It's a good thing that Eyes was careful. This man has dragons. Where he gets dragons from, I don't know, but these got to be the dragons that we saw in the opening. You know, I think it was like three of them, and then there was like a little baby dragon and stuff. So it's a good thing that Ainz was careful. I mean, we know that, you know, th things just happen to Ainz coincidentally, and it just happens to work in his favor a lot of time throughout the anime. But this time, him being actually careful because the Death Knights got defeated, I see, 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 they go to dragons, actually came into play because... I feel like those dragons probably would defeat the Death Knights. Now, they don't, I don't see them beating Shalti or, or Guardian, but them beating the Death Knights or Skeleton Knights or whatever, I could see, I could see that. The other Quag, I got, yeah, I don't see them doing nothing, but. So a lot of the stuff in the opening, you know, in typical opening fashion, is very evident to a lot of the stuff that we're getting early on in this in the um in the season. I'm actually kind of glad though that they didn't just tease us with a bunch of stuff in the opening and then we never see it. You know what I'm saying until like later on down the line. So I'm not mad. Episode seven. Frost Dragon Lord. Wow. Don't be trying to butter me up. I'm not toast. Yeah, they just don't know, man. They messing with the wrong one. They messing with the Ainz Ungo. So you got three women on him? Oh my gosh, this episode finna go ham and let's go. I am so excited for this episode already. Oh, your son finna die, lady. Well, dragon lady. Oh, 
<laughs> it's fine. I'll go get it myself. Oh, man. Y'all son for the die. But you just repeated yourself. He may not die. He may end up working with Ainz. Because he seems like he's kind of smart. Oh, that is not the case, man. <laughs> you saw him suck in? He's sucking his gut? See, so he's, so he's smart. Don't get carried away, son. Right. They, they, they have no reason to be. <laughs> please, please wait. Please wait. <laughs> Y'all told me he's smart. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. <sighs> Cause I saw all the stacks of books and everything and then the glasses. Hold hold up. Hold up. I'm the only one like this is my family. I don't work out as much as everybody else. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yes, please don't kill me. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> should we be should we be peeing ourselves as well? No, you don't need to do. <laughs> You should be saying stuff like that. What are you doing? <laughs> I love it. I love it. If they listen, they won't die. But if they get beside themselves, they will die, man. Right, at least his mother.
Ooh, man. Ooh, my heart is beating all fast, man. Anybody else excited? Uh oh. I told you he was gonna die, man. Oh, that's messed up. No. So he's going to save all of them because they technically are his mother. Wow. See, look at, look at eyes, man. Your boy's too legit, man. Too legit to quit. <laughs> you, you are a bad guy, ain't you? <laughs> But it's an ultimate lock that don't unlock anything. It can only be used seven times, but still. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I ain't gonna take all of it, but I'm, I'm gonna dip my hand in there and take a little bit. Okay, now let's get some destruction on our hands, man. <laughs> well, you definitely won't be making mistakes, huh? Right. See, I told you, we knew this. But he done all that for Shaltier's benefit. Because we knew that Aura knew. Aura? However you want to say it. We knew, we knew that she knew from the jump. And I saw it once he got there. Or unless I knew from the jump and then he was doing that for the benefit of Shaltier the entire time. Either way, we know that Ainz always thinks steps ahead. It's nice that he's trying to get all of them to be better versions and understand things more. Man, you better bow down, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you should have just bowed down from the jump.
Be quick about it. <laughs> oh, you fool. Okay, man. I guess you want to do things the hard way. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, I, I should laugh because like they're dying and stuff like that. But it's too good. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Look at that animation. Oh, you fool. The other one hadn't killed anybody. Are you serious? Pay attention to your surroundings, man. You should have done that from the get-go, you fool. Because they tried to give you an easy out. You chose to go the hard way. Oh, this episode is legit, man. I love it already. Oh, you fool. He killed your father. You fool. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I have no qualms about it. You know, I'm loving it, but I'm just saying in general. Should have done it from the jump. You wouldn't have had to worry about, man. Well, Shaltier did gain some experience this time, too, though, so. <laughs> but like I assume that Ains he didn't know Right? Oh, okay. So it was a learning curve for Shaltier. It's... <laughs> 
Well, you you served a part this time, Shaltier. You done your thing. So I don't care nobody say, man. This episode was nice, man. It, it wasn't like super informative or anything like that, but the destruction was there and I loved it. Now, what's the plan this time? Oh, yeah, they got to get rid of the theocracy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he done jumped the gun again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they are jumping the gun again. Oh my gosh. What are you understanding? I, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think that's the episode, right? Okay, that was Overlord Season 4, Episode 7, and there was no ending sequence, but that is fine because the episode itself was a pretty great episode, man. Like I tell you guys so much when it comes to Ayn Un's gown, man, I have no qualms when Ayn just comes in here and just mess stuff up. For me, I enjoy it. Now, in a different anime, it might be... I might feel a certain type of way, but going into this, watching this from the very first season from the jump, I know what to expect. So seeing this type of stuff, it doesn't phase me. I actually enjoy it a lot coming from this character in this particular anime. And this episode was no shortage of that, man. We destroyed a dragon. We gained some dragon followers, possibly maybe some gold too. I feel like I might've took some of the gold. We might've take a lot, but I feel like he might've at least took a smidget of gold. Uh, along with um the runesmith book and we got the koagas koagas however you want to say their names we got ten thousand of those as our followers in their descendants whenever they have some descendants or whatnot and we got like the one dude that was ruling over them so we got all of that and we got some destruction we killed two seemingly powerful dragons you know the father and one of his oldest sons or whatnot but we gained some dragon followers and we got some koagas so now we have more flunkies to use that's not uh actual members of nazareth you know what i'm saying so now we got some more underlings under the branch of eins that he can use in certain things or certain aspects as the series progresses um overall like i said the episode it wasn't too much going on we see that the dwarves are celebrating now because they got their capital back and the runesmiths are going to be moving over to the sorcery kingdom with Ainz and they get this wonderful send-off and everything like that so next week i feel like we're going to be going back to the sorcery kingdom and that's where we're going to deal with you know the more plot devices and conveniences of the actual of the actual series this episode i just feel like it was just just the wonderful fan service for de demolishing all the flunkies in this in this particular dungeon or cave where the dwarves are and i have no qualms about that it was very very nice and the cgi aspect when shaltier was defeating the koagas however you want to call them 
um, was actually really nice. It was pulled back from a distance and we got like really close up vibes and they were all rushing and everything like that. And I get that. It, it, it really didn't need to be focused on too much. It was just one of those things that boom, bam, bam. We knew that she was going to beat them. They weren't strong enough to compete with them to begin with anyway. But we also see that Ainz knew that the um, Skeleton Knights actually fell down in the crevice and were defeated that way. But it was more so of a, a learning curve and a learning lesson Lesson, learning lesson and experience for Shaw Tears this episode. Well, in in this whole little three episodes, I want to say it was three episodes that we were dealing with the dungeon, maybe or two, possibly. I'm not totally sure, but it was a nice thing for Shaw Tears as well. Her character development with her learning stuff. Now it goes into what Ainz is actually trying to do with each and every member of Nazareth. You know, he's trying to get them to learn on their own and handle things on their own, so they're not so dependent on him as the series progresses overall i enjoyed the episode it really wasn't too much going on but i loved it nonetheless man this is what it's incredible don't forget to smash the like button you can't smash any more coming down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to and remember the anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life grasp a heart peace out